Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you some beginner information on how to set up or adjust some of the stuff on your machine, Order Laser Master 2, and some of the stuff you might need to know if you have any issues. I hope this video will be good for you guys. Please, if you have any questions or any recommendation, let me know. I'll be more happy to do it. For you guys again I apologize for my English I might have some words the wrong way saying them please don't get offended and let's start so today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the issues I've been seeing a lot of people are having so, uh, one of the first thing we'll talk about homing okay when people are homing their machines they're having some bunch of issues so we're just gonna lower the camera I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna try to hold as much as I can so here's some options you'll have uh, basically this is your new outer motherboard. Okay, uh, this is the reset button, this is the power button. The idea of the reset button is if something went wrong, the machine got stuck or something, you're doing something, you mess something up and you'll end up to have a purple light blinking here. That means something wrong, okay? So just hold the reset button and it should take everything back to original setting. And then, uh, you home it. This is the power button. If you're that kind of guy, your power supply keep turning off, like you have a switch, let's say on your plug to turn it off and back on, you need to make sure to start to power off your to power on your machine first. So by just holding it, your machine will power off, then you will home. Okay? If every now you see this here. This is one of the issues. Okay, we'll talk about it. I did this on purpose actually earlier, but I forgot to put this here. Uh, so here's one of the first issues you'll have, but we'll talk about this later uh, in a second. So again, if you're somewhere, you want to make sure before you start anything, you want to home it. Okay, you click here and you're home it. See, I want to see if now I'm blinking purple. So I caused the issue because the machine was going and this caused me an issue, so I have to reset. Okay, so now I reset, now I click, I hold the power button for a couple seconds, it should hold the machine. Or actually, you can start your program. I use a light burn. Okay, you can start your program and, for example, just, you know, hit home. And when you start your program, if everything's set up right, you should, your machine should start homing automatically. Okay, so let's talk about what just happened earlier, and this is what I've been seeing. That's the reason I made this video, and another reason a person on Facebook asked me something about the belt adjustment so we're gonna talk about that today so a couple of things the reason you hear that noise is because of my laser okay I'm using the new 20 volt laser model and then I end up having adding an actual uh, it's like a adjustable drop down up and down they have those I had it actually to have it is adjustable z-axis up and down so by doing that, now you're pushing your laser closer to this bar over here, okay? Uh, one time they sent me, uh, outer sent me a replacement for this that is a little different design. The idea of it is pushing the whole unit backward. Uh, it's too much work. I don't feel like opening the whole thing. I just left it as it is. But there's a simple fix for it. So an idea again is your laser or your lens because for those people are using uh, air assist, your lens might be touching this rail here before you are making it to this limit switch. Okay, there's two limit switches. One here for this axis, that means the machine is homing this direction. And there is a one limit switch in here is a little button. Okay, that means your laser is homing in this direction. So here is a common issue if this cable is downward okay and then your machine comes in trying to home and your cable gets stuck between the wheels or anything that will not let this area here hit this limit switch here okay this is the limit switch i'm gonna to touch with my finger one second here's the limit switch basically small limit switch so it contacts somewhere in here okay so if this cable gets stuck between this area here and 
here, not learning this lemon switch, hit here, you'll hear that noise earlier you hear. Okay, and the same thing here, if you're trying to home it, you're touching first, okay? And then now you're not reaching this limit switch. I recommend not having this laser downward that much far. You erase your stuff up, okay? So nothing will touch your laser and you will not affect anything. Example, by putting tiles underneath the object you're, you want to print or something, you know? Just to, you don't want to do that. And then plus you're losing an area. So if you lower the laser, now you lost all this area of engraving. So if your bed was, let's say, 400, now if this is, let's say, 20 millimeter, now it's uh, 380 millimeter. That's the length of your bed because you just lost this much room of engraving, okay? Because you couldn't go over this. Uh, I will not purchase the up and down adjustments, the axis it came in with this little piece of plastic. This piece of plastic sits here. The idea of it is this area here will touch this plastic and push it to touch the limit switch. And now this will not let you touch. You're barely, like a hair, almost not touching, okay? If you see here, you're not touching, okay? Uh, barely, okay? So that will actually hit the wheel and then your limit switch will stop. So you will not hear that noise. Okay, let's try it again. See, at home's fine, and of course it's gonna kick back a little bit. So always before you start anything, make sure you home it. Okay, if you don't, some people say it's okay. I don't need to home it. If you make a mistake, you cannot go back and redo everything in top 100 percent unless you have a camera set up and all those other you know stuff. But always home. Focus your adjustment by whatever you know method you have. You can make a block that reach from here to here if you have those adjustable old lasers. As an example, I want to show you as the old lasers that the ring is adjustable. So what I had did it was I made a block. We'll just this is the fixed lens that you know it should go up and down, but it's just too tight. It uses this block here. I'll show you how to use it. You know you adjust it. You adjust to your material. Uh, the other way, where well, I had if the other way, I used to use the other focus length. I mean the adjustable focus length, which is, is this one here. I what I did uh, after I set up the lens, focused it. I just measured how much was from this area all the way to the bottom, and I made a piece of wood. Just cut a piece of wood, and every time I use it as my reference. That's one other thing you can use. Okay. Uh, again, we'll just touch up on stuff. Let me switch. Let me switch, make sure nothing is in the way, nothing going crazy. Now a couple more stuff. I do have some more stuff, tiles here, we'll talk about them later. I have a different video I'm making. Um, what I did to make this cable not go down and hit this area here, I actually just piece of steel and I taped it. I made a hole here and a hole in the top to zip tie it and ran it through this bolt here. Took the assembly out there and be careful when you do this because you will lose uh, the adjusting for this rail here and I have a video how to adjust it in case your laser is moving back and forth Some of the people are complaining and that happened when you start messing around and attaching these assembly like this uh, z-axis up and down These wheels are designed to tight The wheels on the rail so without anything these should not be moving of course, if you just move the wrong turn, a little bit right or left, the wheel is designed to go up and down, and then that's how you end up causing it from moving. There's a nut in here. Adjust. I have a video made up how to adjust this. Uh, this is just for the limit switch right now. Again, if you're not reaching the limit switch, make sure you're not stuck. At one point, I was cutting some kind of woods, and a small piece of wood, I had an air assist, small piece of wood fly out and went underneath this belt with my luck and every time I was engraving something it came in here and trying to stop and I actually did the whole job and my piece was here but the next job I was doing I moved the piece here and of course it kept stopping here I couldn't figure out why I thought it was something wrong with the machine or an update somebody did something and the light burned but actually it was a piece of wood stuck in here 
the best way to figure out if you have no issues, if you're losing or your machine is not engraving right, go all the way up, I mean down, all the way up, left and right, make sure nothing is getting stuck, and then that should be okay unless your laser is moving up and down, side to side, you need to fix that. The idea is to have everything tight before you start messing with your laser. Check your bolts. You have bolts in here, okay? You have bolts on those mechanism. You have bolts, everything. Again, we're human beings. Whoever's assembling this makes a mistake. The entire ball on shipping came in loose. After too many years you're using, those bolts don't have a washer lock. So they can get, you know, uh, unloosed. So just make sure everything is right before you start anything, okay? Uh, just to set up. Again, wires that are out of the way, make sure everything is hooked up, 100%, nothing is loose, all the wires here, all your connections here are good to go, you know, nothing is crazy, you're sitting flat, you're not sitting in this direction, okay, move, touch all four corners, make sure you're not moving, and then you can start your burning, and I'll have some more video about burning. Now, this is for whoever asked me how to adjust your belt. Okay, I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about setting up your belt. We'll just focus on this area here. So, this here comes in automatically set up when you when you get it from a manufacturer. These are the two that you need to set up. One here, and of course, one on this side. Let's talk about just one side, and you can do the same thing on both sides. First, what you wanna do, you wanna run the belt underneath this tire, under this wheel, keep calling the tire, and then go over here. Now when you go over here, the idea of it, you put your hand and pull it up, that it'll give you attention, and then hold it down, keep your hand on this wheel here, and then try to feed it under here, and pull it out, okay? Why I'm saying keep your hand over here, so you won't be tight in this area here, and you're loose in this area. Because as soon as you start grabbing, there's a teeth in here. If you grab those teeth and you're loose here, you'll, you can tie as much as you want. You can pull this belt at 100 pound pressure, okay? You'll catch on those teeth and you'll have a tension here but nothing here. And after a while of, you know, moving, this can slip and now you have a loose belt and you're wondering what happened. I already tied it from there. What's going on? So always make sure you're tight both ends, here and here, by that method I told you. Lift it up, pull it with your hand, put a pressure here to make sure you're sitting on that wheel, and then go ahead, pull it down and go that direction, okay? That is very important to do. And after you do that, out of, uh, before you tie everything, after you do this, run this way, run that way, okay, and let's say you tie it, the best way to align it, go all the way back, okay? Do not use the front of the machine. So this is the front, okay? Use the back. I recommend you lock in these, go to the back. And here I'm gonna tell you just a small example why you wanna do that. Yeah, lift my camera, go up this way. So, this wheel here, there's a wheel over here. And there's a wheel on the other side too. Over here you want to touch those wheel all the way to that corner here and touch it to that corner by doing that now you're making sure sorry for the camera it's moving all over the place now you're making sure that you're aligned you're not crooked this direction you're not crooked this direction okay you do not want to do that I know I've seen this couple of the machines actually they have two motors now one of the manufacturing yeah uh, they have two motors here. I don't like that setup. I love the setup here with one motor. One motor control both way. You never know. One motor can go off and you'll have a disaster. Okay? But we're not talking about that. We're just talking about this right now. So again, everything is tight. Your belt, the attention of this belt, just like a bicycle belt. belt. You don't want it too tight. You're going to have a hard time paddling. You want it a little bit loose if you had a bicycle. If not, we'll just explain anyway. For example, if I go close to here. I'm sorry, I know the video is going to be upside down. So let's say this way. 
if I put my pencil on this here, you'll see, see this is moving, okay? Of course, I'll break the pencil. It's moving. You do not want it too tight, okay? The idea of it, if you move it, this should turn, okay? And you do not want it too loose because you're going to start slipping on those teeth. That can cause you some of the issues, which is basically the main issue is your print could be off. Now, there is a couple more options, a couple more print. I figured something out that stuff was not lining up. When I did the rotary, okay, uh, which is this machine that it saves you for a cup. It turns around. On light burns, I'm going to show you guys something. On light burns, okay, there's an options when you say you built something. Let's say I want to make a box and I'm trying to burn it, okay. If I go to... I want to see if you can see it here. No, it's going to be in here. Okay. It's this option here. It says fit all shape at once. Okay. Sometimes people take this here individual. Okay. So what this can cause you. Now, if you do individual, it can make them. Let's say if you have a writing here. Let's say if you're typing here. Well, let's say whatever typing. I had one picture. It was a full, was one picture. It wasn't like a writing or, you know, shaped together. It was both merged in one picture. But when I tried to print it, what was happening, sometimes those numbers on the rotary especially, they were ending up merging together. Like, you know, uh, I want to say, wold together. And I couldn't figure out why. No matter what I did, I thought it was my setting of rotary. But the shape, it was perfect, but the letters were not. Why the machine was doing this? The machine started engraving this first. It jumped up to engrave this area. It went back to engrave this. Let's say and did this. It went back to did this. It could just set up the machine. It wasn't all at once. Then what happened when it came back to this? The rotation of the machine a little bit changes or something. Or the plastic piece move or whatever it was. And everything was to hell. This one was welded to here. Blah blah blah. So the what I did, basically, when I just went to setting, and I just click all at once, which is that means uh, it is a little bit slower time, but the way it will engrave. Let's say if you have it 90, it will go like this, one by one, and all the way. So you'll have a shape better, or you go this way, all the way. Your shape will be better. Couple more things on your speed. Okay, we'll go back to the machine. If you're testing something, I've seen some people doing 6,000 per minute. 6,000 millimeter per minute. I do not recommend this, guys, okay? I know you want to do something fast. Uh, you want to save time. You don't want to sit there all day. But remember, this machine here, it is advertised to 3,000 per minute, okay? 3,000 millimeter per minute. You can push it to 4,000 maybe, okay? But do not overdo it, okay? If you're engraving the letters or something and you're seeing your laser going, you know, like crazy or back and forth crazy, something wrong, okay? You're overdoing it. It's not designed to go that fast, especially with small letters. Another recommendation, if you want to do this, you can just, for example, uh, change it. Set up, if you're using light burn, set up this one to go, let's say, your image to go, let's say, 3,000 and then... You know, your letters, because they're smaller, set it to 1,000, 2,000, okay? Or less. That way, so you have, you know, you can have layers and layers of stuff, you know? You'll learn how to use Lightburn if you don't have a Lightburn. Lightburn is the best program to use for laser engraver. So far, I, I, I ever use, okay? Nobody's paying me anything. I'm just trying to help you guys, okay? Now, I hope this helps out again. Nothing is moving back and forth, up and down. Your belts are both sides the same equal attentioner. If not, that can cause you some movement. Check those rails, okay? Make sure nothing is loose. The rail is not moving back and forth. Everything is tight, okay? We're human beings. We make mistakes. We forget one bolt we didn't tie or something. Just in case, okay? Uh, all the wires, connection. See, just by me playing with this right now, look what happened. I'm gonna see if I can focus. This connection just came out a little bit. So all you gotta do, I wanna see if I can have you see it better. I have a light on it. You'll get the idea. The connection a little bit came out. 
just by me playing on it. Okay, so I'll make sure every once in a while everything is tight, everything is not moving. Okay, bolts are not loose. Okay, it's 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 just it's bolts get loose if you don't have a washer lock on them and stuff like that. Okay, and you don't want to over tie them. Okay, especially if something like that, like a motherboard here. You do not want to over tie this bolt. You don't want to break it. Please make sure this is a this is a very made wall machine. But again, some stuff is delicate. Plastic pieces can break if you over tie them. Just simple things, okay? I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know if you have any questions or any recommendation of stuff you want me to do. I'm just going to share a couple more things with you guys. Uh, something extra I did was, was I purchased those 90 angle, 90 degree angle a B switch. It is just because the cable came in, it goes like this direction and the wire was too much. For my box, I have a special box made for this. I'll share one day my box with you guys. You guys will like it. But this here is 90. This is not a wire adapter. This is just a 90 adapter. Okay. I don't recommend any wire adapters 90 degrees, even for the power supplies. I just bought a 90. Why? Because these cables are very sensitive. Okay. Some of the issues you have with these cables are uh, basically. I attached this piece here. I'm not sure it's Floyd or something. I'm not sure the name of it. I can pop it out later on to show you guys. But this is this wire here. Uh, this is the attachment. You'll see on the old laptop power supplies. This is made to hold electrical noise, which is a power. If there is an electrical power or escape power, this will wrap the power around it and will let the flow. Of information data more smoothly okay I had an issue with uh, I had a big LED light on top of this machine not here this machine is not set up on my computer room I'm just making a video for you guys it was set up a big LED lights and every time I did this I turned the machine on turn close the light and went out for a couple seconds came back every once in a while the machine stopped I couldn't figure out the machine just went home start homing itself I couldn't figure out why the machine was homing. It became because it was too much electrical interference in this area from the LED lights. The USB was having some errors and saying start homing. That's one of the safety features or something. Okay. And the machine just went crazy, I guess. And it homes and stop. It didn't say go home. It just stopped. And then, of course, when it stopped, it went home and... I lost everything okay there's a way you can actually restart the same thing and light burn uh, it's just a simple way if you say uh, a machine stop I see a lot of people stop and you can just reset it if you go to up here and here you'll have a button to show you like where are you you know let's say if you stop here as long you haven't touched anything and your equipment's here and you went, you took this home, you haven't moved a piece, all you gotta do, let's say the machine stop here, you can just go back a little bit here. There's a timer here, you can, you know, find out how much you went back. And here, it says star here. When you click here, and it says start a job from here. Now the laser will go and will skip whatever, all this option will start the job from wherever you want it to start, okay? Uh, so anyway, so I ended up being, it was the LED light. LED light was catching interference and it was causing me issue. Then after a while, I was having an issue. Uh, I ended up changing this cable. I got a, a longer cable because this cable was too short. So the problem I was having, these cables, I changed it with they were cheap cable. It wasn't a manufactured cable. So again, electrical interference, not much speed of data going to the machine. So that's why I add this one here to take the electrical interference from this end here to not go here or I have some more electrical pieces in my garage where I have this set up at. Now, uh, this was a good thing here and I changed the power supply USB port. So basically on your laptop you'll have where you plug your USB board. You know, this one here. So if just as a reference, most of laptops, whatever USB port next to the power supply, 
usually have more power coming out of it than the other USB ports. So not try not to use that because that might cause interference with your machine. So if your USB power supply is here and you have a USB port next to it and you have a USB port over here, try use this USB port. Do not use this USB port because you might have interference with the power supply. I hope this answers everything for you guys. Um, here, like I said earlier, if you're homing, another thing you can do, uh, you add this piece of plastic, you know, or something, or you can just glue something from here, not in a tire, like glue on this surface here, piece of wood, you know, just to make sure plastic or something with crazy glue, just to make sure you're hitting this switch button or limit switch, sorry, before the laser hits wherever. Okay, like uh, this laser base hit here or the laser lens is hitting here. So before that happens, make sure you're homing. This should fix this, fix your issues. I hope this helps you guys. Please let me know if you guys need anything else. Again, apologize for the English. If you didn't understand nothing, please leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer for you guys. Have a nice day.